morning weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Well, time right now is coming up on 516 on this Wednesday morning. And while maybe a little chilly now, folks are going to be looking forward to some sunshine later. Yeah, I know the past couple of days it's been a bit of a struggle to mix in the sun for northern areas. I don't think it'll be that difficult today. We can melt some of the frost on our windshields. Yes, uh, it's definitely a frosty start to the day compared to the past couple of days. Uh, we're in the 20s and 30s and a handful of us are below freezing. So if you do park outside, you may have to budget a little extra time to uh, run the defroster or maybe scrape the windshield for a hot minute. Temperature 30 in Plattsburgh, 33 in Burlington, some 20s and 30s all the way to the Massachusetts border. Storm tracker is quiet aside from a couple of passing showers in the Adirondack Park that may or may not even be reaching the ground. So we'll just call it a quiet start to the day regardless. If you look off to the west, here's the system that comes in tomorrow. The broad swirl in the clouds over the upper Midwest. This part of the system is interesting. This is what actually impacts us a little uh, I guess you could say spoke of energy that comes off of the main storm. This will fire up a secondary low that slides to the south and it sort of guides all the precipitation into our direction. All of that to say periods of rain will move in tomorrow and they'll generally taper to showers on Friday. The wet snow potential starts to arrive after the sun goes down, although a few mountain towns could start mixing in some snowflakes as early as lunchtime tomorrow. I think overnight into early Friday, above 2,000 feet, there will be some tough travel and some outages will be possible. It's a wet snow that may weigh down on some tree limbs and power lines. Over the weekend, this whole thing turns into an upslope snow situation. That would be a drier, fluffier snow for northern mountains. Think about Jay Peak, Mount Mansfield, the northern Adirondacks. So when you add it all up, it looks like a lot of mountain towns end up getting some kind of wintry precipitation. It just depends on... Uh, when exactly it happens and where you are. And we'll get to that in just a second. Today, partly to mostly sunny, highs in the upper 40s, no problems. Here comes the rain early tomorrow morning. This is 6 a.m. I think most of us are dry, although it's drifting in from the south by that point. Pretty wet through lunchtime into the afternoon and evening. You can see more flashes of blue showing up once the uh, sun goes down, mainly in the mountains. But because the system will be to our south, it ends up wrapping in some drier air that breaks up the showers on Friday. There's a chance we could see a little bit of sunshine and uh, the weather may be a little quieter aside from an east breeze on Friday itself. So it does look like, as we mentioned yesterday, the bulk of this moisture falls on Thursday. And in terms of the most impactful snow, the wet snow potential, there may be a couple inches by Lion Mountain and maybe close to a foot near Mount Marcy. Of course, it's very elevation dependent. The Adirondack Northway is probably all rain. Not too much in terms of wet snow Thursday night into Friday morning for northern areas, although the southern spine of the Green Mountains may pick up a handful of inches, especially by Killington. Friday looking a little quieter than some rain and snow showers Saturday and Sunday, mainly upslope snow showers in the mountains. Next week looking pretty cloudy with potentially another storm on the way right around Thanksgiving.